सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम ऑन टर्निंग मोमेंट डायग्राम फॉर ए फोर स्ट्रोक गैस इंजिन गिवन क्वेश्चन द टी थीटा डायग्राम फॉर ए फोर स्ट्रोक गैस इंजिन कैन बी अज्यूम टू बी कंसिस्ट ऑफ फोर ट्रैंगल्स द एरियाज मेजर आर 600 मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर फॉर पावर स्ट्रोक 50 मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर फॉर एग्जॉस्ट स्ट्रोक 30 मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर फॉर सक्शन स्ट्रोक एंड 150 मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर फॉर कॉम्प्रेशन स्ट्रोक द स्केल फॉर द टी थीटा डायग्राम इज 1 मिलीमीटर स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू 10 जूल्स द लोड टॉर्क इज कांस्टेंट थ्रू आउट द साइकिल फाइंड द मैक्सिमम फ्लक्चुएशन ऑफ एनर्जी इन द फ्लाईव्हील Let us understand how to draw turning moment diagram for four stroke gas engine. In four stroke engine, each stroke is getting completed during half revolution. That means at one eighty degree. Now, for to complete all the four strokes, two revolutions are getting completed. The four stroke are suction stroke, compression stroke, power stroke, and exhaust stroke. Now during power stroke work energy is getting developed and during suction stroke compression stroke as well as exhaust stroke work energy is getting consumed and now we have to show this on the turning moment diagram so area for each of these stroke is in the form of triangle and that is mentioned in the question Now we will show here on horizontal line crank angle theta in radians and on vertical line torque in newton meter. Now how to show this power stroke which is having area six hundred millimeter square? As we know that the work energy is getting developed, so we have to show this triangle above this line. So I will show this. So we have to show this triangle, and now this stroke is getting completed during half revolution. That means zero to pi. So we will take some particular distance. So you can take here two centimeter or four centimeter as per the space available, and here we will mention pi, and we will complete this triangle for six hundred millimeter square. So this is the area equal to six hundred millimeter square. Now we will move to the next stroke, exhaust stroke, which is having area fifty millimeter square. Now for this stroke also, half revolution is getting completed. That means pi to two pi. So how to show this? So here work energy is getting consumed. So for this fifty millimeter square, we will show triangle in this way. Now next is suction stroke. So for the suction stroke again, two pi to three pi. And here the triangle is getting completed. We have to show for thirty millimeter square. That is the smallest triangle. And last one is the compression stroke, which is having area one fifty millimeter square. So again. Here is revolution three pi to four pi, and we will show the area of triangle that is for one fifty. So this turning moment diagram is getting completed. Now this four stroke engine is attached to the flywheel, and the energy is getting absorbed by the flywheel. So, but all of the energy developed during power stroke is not getting absorbed by the flywheel, but some part of the energy developed is consumed by these other strokes. That is, due during the suction stroke, compression stroke, as well as exhaust stroke, and the remaining work energy is getting absorbed by the flywheel. Its speed is getting increases, and then it is supplied to the load machine. Now. This driving torque is variable, but the load torque is constant. So, how to show the load torque? So, if we show here this crank angle theta, we have to show in the same way or with the help of same scale here zero pi, two pi, three pi, and four pi. And on vertical line, we have to show torque. But here the load torque is constant, and that's why we have to draw here horizontal line. So I will draw here one horizontal line, and we will complete this. 
so this is the torque or we can say load torque and that's why i will show here as a to now how to find out this to so we know that the work energy supplied by four stroke engine is equal to work energy available at the load machine so how much work energy supplied by this four stroke engine so all the work developed is not supplied to the flywheel but the part of it supplied to the flywheel and that's why we have to show the work energy that is the 600 minus 50 minus 30 minus 150 and this 1 mm square area is equal to 10 joule so if we multiply this 10 then we will convert this area into work energy so we have to write the formula as work energy supplied by this 4 stroke engine is equal to 600 minus 50 minus 30 minus 150 bracket complete 10 is equal to work energy available at load machine. So how to calculate work energy available at load machine? So if we observe this diagram, the area under this curve or area under this rectangle that means the work energy available. So how to calculate? So because if we observe this is the rectangle shape that is this. We have to show this TO, this vertical distance that is that means nothing but TO and multiplied by 4 pi. This whole crank angle is 0 to 4 pi. So here we will write which is equal to TO into 4 pi and then when we solve this then we will get TO is equal to 294.44 millimeter newton meter. So here because this is the torque so its a uh, unit is TO is in newton meter. So we can mention here this TO that means this point that is torque is 294.44 newton meter. Now we will combine driving engine turning moment diagram as well as load machine turning moment diagram. So this is the superimposing diagram. Now we have to show this TO at 294.44 Newton meter as we have calculated. Now what is the maximum driving torque at this point? So we will show this as a TI max because this is the maximum point for this driving torque. So how to find out this? So we know that this work done during power stroke. So how to find out the work done during this power stroke? That is the area of this triangle. So how to find out the area of this triangle? That is half multiplied by base multiplied by height. So I will show here the height of triangle that is in this way. And this height is nothing but this maximum driving torque that is Ti max. So area is also mentioned that is 600 millimeter square. So if we, if we multiply this area 600 multiplied by 10 then we will get the work done. So I will write here area of triangle as a half into pi into this Ti max and which is equal to 600 into 10. So this 600 into 10 that is 6000 is also equal to work done during this power stroke. So this, there is only one unknown term that is Ti max and which is equal to 3819.7186 Newton meter. So we have to show this Ti max. So I will remove this and we will show here the value 3819.71 Newton meter. Now we will calculate maximum fluctuation of energy. So first we have to select the point of intersection for this driving torque as well as load torque. So which are the point of intersection. So here is the first point, here is the second point and here is the third point. Now we will first give the letters to this triangle. That is I will give this triangle as a A, B, C. Then this height, for this height A to D. Next letter I will give here D. And now the remaining letters I will give to this point of intersection that is E, then here is F and here is G. And here also point of intersection so I will say that this letter will be H. 
now how to find out the maximum fluctuation of energy now if we observe the uh, these different points that is e f and g so what is the energy at, at point e that is at zero crank angle so we can uh, assume here as a initial the fly, flywheel is having energy e and at the point f so here is the uh, triangle now if we compare this triangle at the point f and the triangle at the point g then this triangle is larger than this triangle e f b so we will consider this triangle only for the maximum fluctuation of energy so this is by observation because if we observe the gap or height in between this o to point e that is this is only 294.44 but the height in between this point e to this point a then it is 3819 minus 294 so this height is much much larger also this base is also larger than this base e a so this is the maximum fluctuation of energy that is the area of triangle a f g so we will show that delta e max that is maximum fluctuation of energy that is equal to area of triangle a f g now if we observe this diagram then here is a f g and here is also triangle a b c these are two similar triangles so we will take the ratio area of triangle a f g divided by area of triangle a b c which is equal to so what is the area of triangle a f g that is half multiplied by base multiplied by half height so i will write here half multiplied by base is f g multiplied by height is a h now in the same way area of triangle a b c that is half multiplied by base that is bc multiplied by height that is ad if we observe these two triangles afg and abc these are similar triangles so it's a ratio of base is equal to ratio of height so what is the ratio of base that is this base of the first triangle afg divided by bc is equal to ah divided by ad so we can write here fg by bc is equal to ah by ad so we can replace here this fg as well as bc so i will write here instead of fg that is ah and here instead of bc i will write here as a ad and this half half is getting cancelled so this ratio i will write here as a ah divided by ad Square. So, what is this area of triangle AFG? So, this area of triangle AFG that is the maximum fluctuation of energy. And what is the area of triangle ABC? So, area of triangle ABC that is the work done during power stroke, and that we have already calculated. So, how to calculate work done during power stroke? That is 600 area multiplied by 10. So. Delta A max by work done during power stroke is equal to A H by A D square. Now, how to calculate this A H? So, if we observe, this height is 3819.71 minus 294.44. And how to calculate this A D? So, this A D that is this total height that is 3819.71. And we have to take here as a square. So when we solve this, then delta E max is equal to, so work done, we know that area of triangle ABC, that is 600 into 10. So when we solve this, then maximum fluctuation of energy is equal to 5110.64 joules.